What's up guys, just got in from the gym, made myself my ultimate protein smoothie. Protein, banana, strawberry, ice, water. And that's really it, you just put a lot of ice to make it nice and thick. And of course you have to top it off with a topping because it's kind of like Froyo, so we're going with Reese's Puffs. I know it sounds weird, strawberries and peanut butter, but listen, any cereal works. I like uh, granola too, but granola is so calorie dense. You get like this much for uh, 200 calories. So I'm going with serving Reese's Puffs. Going to have that and let's go see who's on YouTube. Perfect. Look at that. And what you do is you mix it in. So every bite has a crunch. And that's a huge fail. Turn the camera away while I lick the spoon. I don't need you guys getting any ideas. But let's give it a taste test. Put some Reese's Puffs on it. Perfect. All right, so, see what's on the tubes. Brandon Campbell. 15 minutes ago, we're gonna watch some of that. So upon finishing my shake, we're watching Max, and he, I have two servings of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I've seen Matty Fusar do this, and I don't know if it's going to be good. Uh, he I didn't watch this, so let's see his rea <clears throat> reaction. But, let's just dump that in there, and then like, mix this up, I don't know. Am I doing this right? <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is going to be terrible or not. Hold on. Like, this is going to be soggy? No, Max, it won't. I feel like this is going to get soggy. Okay. Cinnamon fruit. <laughs> Cinnamon fruit is the thing, right? So, about to play my game. Thanks, buddy, Pissarro. What a good guy you are. Hey, what's up, guys? Right around 5 o'clock. Getting hungry now. Who we have here? are some chicken franks. And these actually have great macros. So hot dogs tend to be pretty high in fat and everything. One of these is 60 calories, uh, three and a half fat, uh, one carb and seven protein, and actually fairly low in sodium for a packaged food. So, Sheesh. not a BBC. All right, so. And this is pretty much how you know when the hot dog's done. When you see that nice little crunch mark on each side. So those are just about perfect. Now what we'll do is, instead of taking out the toaster, let's save some time, save some energy, save the electric bill. Throw two pieces of bread, which are gonna be the hot dog buns right here. We're just gonna let them just toast up a little bit and that's it, guys. I'm getting a little toasty on this side. Look at that, beautiful. Nice, now we shut the heat. The pan's still hot, let the other side toast without burning anything. And now to choose the condiments. Now, listen, you eat hot dogs, ketchup and mustard, right? I'm the condiment king, not the condom king, the condiment king. So we have different varieties of mustard. We have jalapeno mustard. We have regular traditional yellow mustard. We have honey mustard. We have Dijon mustard. We have regular ketchup. But you know what? I'm not feeling the ketchup today. So we're not gonna do ketchup. We're not gonna do Dijon. So we have choices. And you know what I think we're gonna go with today? I think we're gonna go with jalapeno mustard and we're gonna give these a backseat, although honey mustard is one of my favorite condiments. And we're actually gonna hit one of these with sriracha. All right, so of course you have to have a pickle because that's just traditional. But you notice how this isn't a hot dog bun, so there's not enough real estate for the Frank to fit on the sandwich, on the bread. So what we have to do is trim around the edges. As you can see, we go diagonal and we're just gonna fold those over, but we have to put our sriracha and mustard on. And there we have it, guys. Sriracha hot dog, jalapeno mustard hot dog, pickle. I'm gonna eat these, this was the longest couple of minutes of showing you how to make a hot dog. So, sorry if this bored you, or maybe it entertained you, and that would be excellent. So I'm gonna eat this, go shower, and I'll catch you guys with my next meal. What's up guys, it's around seven o'clock, getting hungry again right now, and showered up, got changed, 
And not sure what I'm going to have, but I'm definitely going to have asparagus. And I'm definitely going to cook up this ground turkey because I have no chicken left. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a burrito and maybe use this ciabatta and do like a flatbread pizza kind of thing. Might only have enough for half of one. And then the other half will just do like a cheesy garlic bread. So we'll use some garlic powder, garlic salt. Got this low fat shredded cheese. And this is the sauce I use, pizza squeeze. I get this at Target, only 30 calories. And a quarter cup is actually enough to cover both of these. So you only need one serving. And it's only six carbs. And yeah, so we'll show you that as soon as I put it together. So let's see, one serving again is 63 grams. Let's see if we can get that to spread out on both of these. Yeah, so it ends up being more than enough sauce. And we got our spices here. So, give it a little Italian kick. We're gonna go with some oregano, a little bit of garlic salt, some garlic powder, and some crushed red pepper to get some heat on there for this half with the, just the cheese. And the other half will just keep just turkey pepperoni. We had just enough slices of pepperoni to cover that. So six slices and one serving is actually 17. So only not even using half a serving here. So now it's time to build it up with some cheese. All right, one serving of cheese is 28 grams. 27. That's right, we went one up low. Thank God I got that measure before it died. All right, so there are pizzas. We're gonna put them in the toaster oven. Asparagus are steaming nice over here. And let's keep building. All right, pizza bros, you gotta come in here. Gotta cook you up. Look at that. It's like they were meant for it. it just nests in there like a little cocoon. I'm not racist, by the way. Nice. I will see you soon, as soon as that cheese melts. Trader Joe's Chunky Guacamole Reduced Guilt. So guacamole and avocado is usually very high in calories because of the fat content, but this is made with Greek yogurt. So one serving only has two grams of fat and where is it? 30 calories. So perfect macros and this stuff is absolutely delicious and nutritious. I'm gonna mix all this together and throw it right on that burrito. When the cheese starts bubbling, you know it's just about done. Look at that. Crispy edges. Tin foil doesn't get that hot, by the way. But don't try this at home. And that's literally perfect. That's, that's fucking perfection! Battle of the sexes. Which one do I choose? I'm gonna choose one. Go sit down and show you the macros, and you think about which one I chose. Damn. That is epic. But I know you're Meyer on this meal big time. <laughs> you guys are probably starving if you're not eating a meal right now. Because I'm just hungry looking at this. And then I'm going to eat this. And then when I edit this footage, I'm going to be hungry looking at this. And then I'm going to want to eat it again. All right. So total macros for the meal, right around 900. So really not that bad for the volume of food. So it's ciabatta flatbread, cheese, sauce, and turkey pepperoni, which is on those pizzas. And then we have the burrito. We have the inside the burrito is the refried bean, that guacamole, and some ground turkey. And then we have asparagus. Some Arctic Zero, because why not? Um, I don't typically buy this because it's expensive. And it's cool because it's only 150 calories per pint for those of you who've never seen it. This is the mint chocolate, so per serving, 36 calories, 7 carbs, 3 protein, so. And I figured I'd show you guys real quick. So, it's hard to kind of tell, but you could see how it's not creamy looking. You could tell that it's kind of watered down. But, I'm not going to say it's not good, but it doesn't taste like great mint chocolate ice cream, so. Whatever, gets the job done, so I'm going to eat it. 
All right, so the Arctic Zero didn't do it for me. Shit was like water. But now I have a decent amount of macros left, and I'm going with some plain Greek yogurt. I'm gonna do a half a serving of these banana nut Cheerios. And then after that, I still have a bunch of carbs and some protein left and some fats. So I'm actually gonna do some oats, protein powder, and peanut butter. One of my favorite meals or snacks, whatever you wanna call it. Just the consistency of it, the sweetness from the peanut butter and the chocolate protein, delicious. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl, eat that, then have the oats, and that's gonna be it for the day. All right, so there is one serving of the plain Greek yogurt and a half a serving of the banana nut Cheerios. Half a serving into there and then some protein powder and we're done. That is a bowl of deliciousness. And we're done. Macros I wanted to hit, total fat, 60. Nailed it. Carbohydrates, 300, we got 299. So I'm gonna have to go find one carb. I might just eat one Reese Puff. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, where'd you go? Um, protein, wanted 210, got 207. For some people, I know the protein's kind of high, but I like high-protein foods. They're satiating to me, and they taste good. Fiber, you see what I mean? My fiber's always so high. I really would have loved a Quest Bar today, but I get too much fiber every day, so. All right, guys, so that's going to finish off this full day of flexible dieting and food porn, Meals with Maddie. Do you guys actually like this shit? Like, do you like watching me cook the meals and show you what I'm eating? If you do, that's awesome. I like watching other people do the full day of eating videos, so I get meal ideas and stuff like that. So if you do like it, don't forget to like the video. That really helps me out. It gives me feedback, so if you're liking the videos, I'll keep making more of them. And it helps the channel grow, so I really appreciate that, guys. So that's pretty much it. And also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys prefer. Do you like long episodes where I show you a couple of meals, car vlogs, training footage, all into one? Or do you actually like these separate full day of eating videos where it's just a video showing you maybe how I prepare my meals and what I'm eating throughout the day? So you guys let me know. I'd be more than happy to accommodate you. And uh, I really appreciate the support, guys. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't liked the video, like I told you 2.30 seconds ago, don't forget to do that before you close out the screen. And that's it. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.